All right. Well, before I get too far, I figured I might as well go over the stuff I got. You know, it all started with that really beat up pan right there. There was two of them. One of them's really cracked. I I don't really know where it is. Might be on the back porch, but I got that long ago when I got um I ordered some pay dirt, you know, probably 5 6 years ago. Everybody was all hooked on Gold Rush. Well, I was hooked on Gold Rush, so I thought it'd be fun. Had the kids over, you know, the nieces and nephews, and we could pan for gold, right? I'm sure I've given away some gold, and I'm sure they've lost it at the house, and that's fine. But, you know, then I was like, all right, that pan, that one that I'm looking at has a crack in the bottom. The other one has cracks up and down the sides, so I got those upper green pans. Those two, right there and right there. So I got those. And then I started, you know, my quest of, let's see if I can sift out the pay dirt that's in that, that bucket right there. That's where all my, all my pay dirt from Gnome and all these other little spots that I'd ordered it. So I panned it all out, got myself a little bit of gold, threw it all back in that bucket. So I was like, all right, that's fun to do. Uh, started watching, you know, YouTube videos. First all started with Chris at Bogus Prospecting. I love that guy's dog, Grizzly, and I was hooked on watching his dog run around, and, you know, I was really just, I, I was as sad, and I was just as sad as anybody else when his dog passed away, and especially for why. And then I started watching the Flower Gold Wizard, because, you know, he was going to the beach. Lake Superior, eh, whatever, you know, I, I'm going to the beach. So, you know, I thought, if I'm going to the beach, and I'm going to come home with buckets of sand... I'm going to go to different beaches. I put little labels on the top of, you know, where the spot is, you know, and I come home and I classify it down. I just want the sand. I'm not going to find any gold nugget boulders or anything. So I sift it down. I used to do it with that little kitchen strainer right there and that measuring cup I wised up and I got this big classification rig, you know, the big, big one there. That one came in. Uh, this one came in just today. That one I've had for a few weeks and I really enjoy it. It's like eighth inch mesh. And really what I needed it for was to really fill up a lot of this water and that fills up in the driveway. So that started to work out good. I get the black pan just so I've, you know, when I was panning the all the concentrates down that it would start to work. Uh, so, okay. So my first thing that I really got to process stuff was that little gutter sluice right here for... It came in, you know, off of Amazon. You know, by the time it got to the door, it was under $100. So, you can find them all over the place. It has that little pump sitting over there next to the big bilge pump. That's a little aquarium pump. And, um, you know, it does fine. I, I got stuff with it. So, I went from that. It has this vortex mat stuff, I guess is what they call that. It also came with a roll of V-mat that you can put in there. So we're going to pull that thing out of the way and move that up there. So, you know, for a long time, I'm just running that. I'm going to the beach. I'm getting a five-gallon bucket in Ziploc bags. Come up with a one-gallon, two, you know, can carry a one-gallon Ziploc in each hand. Go back to the, the car, throw it in the back, in the bucket. Go back, get a couple more. It takes about six Ziplocs to fill a bucket. Not bad. You know, you park kind of close to where the shore is. So... See this other, you know, I'm watching other YouTube videos, and I see this dude, um, I don't know where the heck he is, but he's shoveling, you know, a couple of shovels full onto honeycomb. Swirls it around like it's a potato pan, splashes off the water into his, uh, into his, uh, his gold pan, and wow, no kidding, there was actually gold. So, the first one I got was this black one. No edges, no nothing, there's still honey all over it. I didn't catch anything really with it, but I, you know, I don't know what kind of day I was there. So I watched the video again, and I see that the guy's got stuff with these edges on it. And I was like, ah, oh, I gotta find one with the edges. And I'm not out like a ton of money. I think those things are like a dollar a piece for the black one, and maybe two fifty a piece for that yellow one. Not bad, right? So you know, I'm posting stuff. I post my little video so I know where I've gone. And somebody watched it, or I said something on somebody else's video, and they said, oh. Get yourself one of those placer tool probes to look for the black sand when I was at this one beach with tons of black sand. I was like, oh, okay. I got that. My spots, I kind of get an idea of where I'm at. I mean, I'm on the ocean, so I'm not really looking at riverbed stuff. 
It has come in kind of handy, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to find a better use for it. Got my snuffer bottles. That little piece of miner's moss is actually part of a part of my uh, gutter sluice setup when I want to have that in there. So, you know, here's my there's my miner's moss. I got a couple of rolls of that. That stuff's pretty cheap. All right, so let's that that's the gear, right? Everybody can see that. So I ordered this thing off of Amazon. Let's see. It comes with this metal stand, which I didn't really use. I have this thing that I use um, when I'm painting the house and stuff. I, it's a little step ladder, nice and flat. But it's got a header box with a water box. It comes with the this, this stream, this stream flare. That thing's sitting over there in the back of the sand bucket behind those gas cans. All right, so it comes in. Oh, yeah, I'd also gotten this cheap little guy from Amazon. It comes with V-mat. It comes with that expanded metal on it never really found a use for it yet i live by the ocean so it's kind of tough here's a little piece of miner's moss that i can throw inside of it like that like i said someday i'll get to use that but back to the sluice it's got a riffle set of riffles that comes down right put those riffles down when it first came in the mail when i opened it right i put the header box the you know put the water and everything I attach that part, comes with this type of scrubber mat thing, it's not V mat, it's more rectangles, leads up to the to the, the carpet, which is really weird, it really is indoor outdoor carpet. You got the expanded metal like you 